Hello and welcome to Thought for May the 21st. Our readings are Joshua chapter 7, Isaiah chapter 11 and 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. And our thought is, may the Lord direct your hearts. As Paul concludes his second letter to the Thessalonians, he tells them, may the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Chapter 3, verse 5. It is evident that the Lord cannot direct this unless our hearts are already looking towards our Saviour. Paul told the Hebrews that they needed to be looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, in chapter 12, verse 2. And the Greek for looking refers to a fixed direction of looking. It is evident that this cannot happen unless our attitude of heart is already desiring this. We read today in Joshua of the judgments of God that affected the whole nation because one man coveted some of the spoil of Jericho when it was destroyed. It is evident it was a deliberate, calculated act because when Achan is identified under the direction of God, he admits he took them, including silver and gold, and they are hidden in the earth inside my tent. Chapter 7, verse 21. The words of Joshua addressed to Achan are significant. My son, give glory to the Lord God of Israel and give praise to him. And tell me, what have you done? Verse 21. Honest confession to God gives him a form of glory because it acknowledges the total supremacy of an all-knowing creator. But Achan's sin was a calculated deception, and all Israel stoned him with stones, we read in verse 25. And our thoughts turn to the words of Paul in Hebrews that if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the the knowledge of the truth, there no, no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment. Chapter 12, verse 26. Thankfully for our human weaknesses and failures, the grace of our Lord is readily extended to us. But let us never forget the lesson of Achan, who should have felt an awed humility when he saw the walls of Jericho fall without any human effort. What of us, when God destroys the walls of this remarkable civilization that human beings have now created in this modern world? Finally, the inspiring chapter we read in Isaiah today, chapter 11, gives us such a wonderful vision of the future God has planned for our world and for those faithful to him and his son. In reading them, we should feel spiritually motivated to live our lives more and more to reflect that we really are his spiritual sons and daughters, looking forward to the time when the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Verse 9. Is your motivation increasing? Are you seeking more and more earnestly for the Lord to direct your heart? Remember what he is directing it toward. Read again the opening quote from Paul's letter. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.